Jody, for about a week last summer, I was not in my body really. Example, I did my daily things, but I was watching myself from above and also traveling other places. Why would this be? Because you're not grounded? Because you're hanging out more in the astral? So life is about straddling 3D and 4D. And when we go to sleep, we go right into 4D and beyond. When we are awake, when we're in waking consciousness, we are here in 3D. But if we are setting our attention on things of the spirit, if we are really immersing ourselves in things like meditation and prayer and manifestation and the energy of source and all of these wonderful, beautiful gifts of the spirit, we can get a little off balance and spend more time in the astral and less time in 3D. And the observer that we talk about, which we would like to occupy the observer in order to observe ourselves, our patterns, our language, our life, in order to make decisions from a higher vantage point, move things around on the board, if you will, in order to have the outcome that we want, we have to occupy the observer position. That doesn't exist in the astral as we're discussing it, but it does exist from this higher vantage point so I don't know that you're in the astral necessarily when you're checking yourself out and having this secondary consciousness and awareness of yourself it would be curious to know whether that was actually greater than your 3d linear Jody consciousness because maybe you have the awareness of the observer and you can simultaneously be conscious in both spaces but was one more predominant than the other? Were you more an observer all the time? If so, then you were probably very neutral in demeanor day to day and probably not easy to rile, not easy to react because you're up here, not passive, but observing, but observing. So it's either you're occupying that higher mind position, which is different from the astral, or you're occupying the astral because you're just tripping out, man. You're meditating a whole lot and you're having fun and you're into all of your learning and your expansion. And you might have to ground yourself a little bit more in 3D in order to straddle with balance between the two worlds. To learn more about me, the services I offer, and also my online spiritual community, please visit me at crystalancompton.com. See you there.